right guys we're back for another dokkan battle video and today we're gonna go ahead and take lr vegeta and nappa into the legendary goku event and see how good our boys can be um vegeta and nappa i think they're a tremendous tremendous unit um now okay th there's a couple of things to talk about in terms of this unit for this event right now we definitely do want vegeta to come out like like that's it's important for them to switch because Vegeta definitely is a lot more powerful than Nappa, um, especially like defensively and stuff like that. Um, okay, so I, huh? This is interesting, right? Because I have like Kale and Khalifa here. Um, I do, like I, I did want to bring Kale and Khalifa, but you know, just to make it like kind of make things go a little bit quicker, right? But at the same time, I do actually want to take damage. Like I do want us to drop below that fifty percent HP threshold. I mean, if we don't fall under 50%, which is possible, the pure Saiyan team, right? Especially if I'm bringing Kale and Khalifa. Um, it is... Like, Nappa would be able to do okay. Um, I think even against Inui Goku, I think Nappa will get close, at least, to the point where he'll be taking double-digit damage from Inui Goku. Um, especially because I did bring the physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku as well, um, who, of course, is a Shattering the Limit unit, uh, which is going to be good for Vegeta and Nappa. He gives key. So that'll be good for Vegeta and Nappa. Um, and then he's also giving defense, which is what we want. So, like, that rotation will be super good. Um, then I also have the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta as well. So I could either go with Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, um, rock him as a unit here, or um, I could go with the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Both of them are going to work very well. All right, so Nappa's at 100k defense right here. Now, he's going to get 50k defense when he gets his 18k super attack which uh he's at 13 14 15 16 17 18 that's an 18 key super right there um i probably should not throw nappa too far into harm's way right like like just just to see how much damage he's gonna take because by now i've gone through this event so many times like i know the defensive thresholds that we're looking for in terms of damage right like you know by the time we get to int ui goku we want to be around 180k defense um, and with Vegeta, after he super attacks, that's going to be very easy and consistent to do. Especially if I put the Super Saiyan 2 Goku on rotation there. All right, so that'll do 70k is nothing. Yeah, okay. See, this LR is very good with the healing and the defensive factor and stuff like that. Like, offensively, you're not going to get the, the most out of them that you're going to want. Like, you know, you, you think of summonable LR, and I feel like a lot of people, like, their first thought is going to be like, LR Tech Broly, right? Who's just like, he gets his active skill and he's just dishing out 10 million attack stats left and right. And, you know, if you're on Super Paddle Road, he gets super attack four times. Like, he's just insane. Uh, like, LR Tech Broly damage wise, right? But, like, this Vegeta and Nappa unit is obviously quite different um, from that um, LR Tech Broly sort of model. Uh, but this is good because Vegeta and Nappa are going to be tremendous for Super Battle Road. I mean, I've already done a couple of videos with them at the moment on Super Battle Road. Um, I don't know if I'll do a video on them specifically on Battlefield. Usually what I'll do is I'll do like a group of units on Battlefield. But like there's not really like, like a bunch of interesting units to take into there. So we'll just see how good Vegeta and Nappa will be on Battlefield, which is going to be very good. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at that uh, the next uh, season of Dokkan Battlefield. But I mean, Battlefield, I think, was. Didn't, wasn't there a new one just recently? So I think it's going to. We're still several weeks away until we get a new one. All right. So I could do this right here. I'm actually just going to put Vegeta in slot one, let him build up a little bit of attack and defense. I could use Nappa's active skill right here. Um, Nappa's active skill will actually give him um, a 100% chance to dodge on this turn. But I am not going to go ahead and do that because if we're still going to be Nappa, I would like to use it against uh, God Goku. Because um, against God Goku, that's where, you know, like the legendary Goku event Goku is going to be way, way stronger. Um, okay, so this will 130k, maybe 140 at most. 166 is a lot. That's only double digits right there. Um, this is good. If we would take uh, like another super attack, we actually could potentially get um the transformation next turn or the exchange i guess it's it's weird right because it's like it, it is sort of like a transformation mechanic but it, it's like the exchange like exchange and transformation are just you know two separate things right um so you know it, it, it's it, it's fine the one thing i do like about exchange units is evidently even if it's not going to be an active skill um it is still going to be voiced so that's going to be super awesome like you know with the upcoming uh majin Buu units for golden week 
they're going to have two different lines that are going to be voiced. Um, the active skill uh, transformation into Super Boo, as well as the exchange mechanic uh, like transformation into uh, the skinny Evil Boo. So that's going to be really, really awesome to see. Um, exchange units, to me right now, are pretty much like the most interesting way they could do units. Um, because like that's, you know, you could really get some very interesting combos of characters, right? Like seeing how cool the Vegeta and Nappa unit is, and I, I know, I'm again, I'm way more interested in Boo than I am in Gotenks. Um, but then, like, it's just like, like you know, we could have, like, a Whis and a Gogeta card. We could have a, a Pycon and a Gogeta card. Like, that, those are one of the big ways it really could help. Okay, so now that we have Super Saiyan 2 Goku, yeah, now, okay, here we go. Now Nappa's up to 120k defense, which is good. Um, so after Nappa super attacks, he's going to be at 180k defense, which at that point, like, it, again, from normal attacks, that would cover him even against in UI Goku, right? Um, we'll probably go ahead and skip the Super Saiyan 3 Goku phase, um, unless we end up getting the exchange or something like that. Um, and then, of course, you know, I'm probably going to use Nappa's active skill um, against God Goku. That would definitely be the one place where you would want to use it um, in the Goku event. And remember... You have to use the active skill as Nappa. That's not something that carries over to Vegeta or anything like that, right? You have to use it before you actually do the exchange. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead now and skip to God Goku. All right, guys, so we ended up getting the exchange pretty early. I mean, this is fine. This is totally cool with me. We're not going to see Nappa's active skill, but, I mean, we know what it does, right? 100% chance to dodge. This is good because, again, Vegeta has more defense than Nappa. Um, I think it'll be quite a bit more, actually. Um, especially going up against a super class uh, enemy and stuff like that. Uh, our Vegeta is going to be able to look pretty damn good. So let's take a look here. Yeah, okay. So he's at 134k defense. Now, keep in mind a couple of different things are going to happen. When he attacks a super class enemy, he gets even more defense. Then he's going to give himself the 50% defensive buff as well. So, I mean, he's maybe going to get... 75k defense after he super attacks so he's going to be up over 200k so moving forward uh provided vegeta attacks first he should not be taking any damage from the rest of this event uh there is a 2.68 million attack stat but he is super effective against all types because we got him um 24 key bam so that would be very good against god goku in the next phase we'll see if it works out all right, guys, so now we're going up against God Goku, and this worked out quite well, actually. <laughs> so, because of the fact that Blue Vegeta transformed on this same turn, we get a guaranteed 24 key super attack with Vegeta. Keep in mind that Vegeta is going to be super effective against all types now because of that. Now, I do have him in slot 1, though, which means he is going to take some... Like, if he gets super attacked before he supers, he's going to take a lot of damage. But... Because, again, his defense is going to go up, like, 70-plus K after he super attacks uh, from, you know, the, the buff just by attacking a super class enemy, as well as the greatly raising defense, which he does on his 18-key super attack. And then if he would get his 12-key super attack, which we did, that's a 30% buff. So now his defense might be 250K plus, something like that. So, I mean, that was definitely an impressive showing for Vegeta. I mean, this is still the legendary Goku event. I mean, Tech Goku is like pretty high up in the event like he's not weak he's definitely not as strong as the ui gokus but he's definitely not weak either that was pretty good by vegeta that was a really strong turn for sure all right so now we are against blue goku here uh our boy vegeta 134k again i've explained how his defensive mechanic oh 23 key i i'm mad how often i seem to get 23 key with vegeta it's like, oh, oh, but wait, I'm stupid. Yeah, because then he gets key on super attack, so he's actually at 24 key anyway. <laughs> all right, so he's super effective against all types. Yeah, yeah. Th okay, that's happened several times as well where I forget about that. Are you kidding me? He gets another super attack. So, I mean, even if Blue Goku supered Vegeta at this point, he's not going to take, I don't think, well, I don't, he wouldn't take that much damage. Um, but this is good. I mean, this Vegeta is a strong unit, man. Um, you know, we got the heal when he transforms. Even as Nappa, he's got the dodging. Again, like, when we're talking Battlefield, EZA, um, Super Battle Road, those are the best places for him. But Vegeta's defense can get so high, 200k+, plus, that he is still good for, like, the long events as well. Now, now, remember, Vegeta is able to get much better defense than Nappa is. But 
Vegeta is reliant on a couple of factors too. You know, if you're going up against one enemy, if you're going up against a super class enemy, you know, those will give him extra uh, little bits of attack and defense. But overall, I, I would say the unit is, is very well designed. I, I think they did a very, very good job um, making this Vegeta just a, a very strong unit overall. So, all right, here was Blue Goku. Um, but again, throughout the rest of the event, Vegeta's not really going to be taking damage um, unless he gets super attacked because uh, his defense is going to be that high. So let's go ahead and skip now until we get to STR UI Goku. All right, so now we're going up against STR UI Goku. Of course, Vegeta is going to be able to dominate here. Um, hmm, well, so I don't really want to use items, but I might have to. Hmm, this is actually not a great turn. We have double physical type units here. I think I am actually going to use an item right here to be safe. And then the next time we come around, uh, we do have that Super Saiyan 2 blue, uh, Vegeta at the end there. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal because obviously type advantage. I mean, Vegeta, even before he super attacks here, um, he is going to be able to just be taking double digits right there. Um, even if we didn't have a King Yama or anything like that. So, I mean, against SCR UI Goku, that's not really what we're trying to test anyway. So I guess it's really not that big of a deal. Um, it's against Int UI Goku. That's where we want to see the actual... That's Yeah, that's really good damage. And what is this? We've gotten the double super attack with him. What is that? Three times already? Okay, sure. Keep in mind that that's a huge defensive buff for him, right? Because he... Okay, so at that point, he's, again, at like 200k plus defense. And then he's going to give another 30% buff. Like... Vegeta is really, really making himself good defensively if he gets multiple super attacks, for sure. All right, so now we're going up against our boy, Int UI Goku. So let's see what Vegeta is going to be capable of doing. What's our defense sitting at? 134k. Yep, like usual, he's going to be fine. And we're going to be able to hit 24 key again. Yeah, going up against super class enemies, it is, like, this Vegeta just is... 18 key super like not even 18 key super attacking at will but it's like he pretty much gets to 24 key super attack every single time if you're going up against one super class enemy so that's good and that's not really too big of a deal unfortunately the super attack is right there but usually with the with with what these units do what i want to show is them taking like double digit damage from this guy because as long as you have units that can take double digit damage from ui goku in ui goku you can easily beat him right it, it, you know he'll get his one super attack in which will hit really hard but if the rest of your units are only taking double digits you've got nothing to worry about and vegeta is able to do really good damage um i mean we've had some good luck with his him potential system stuff but there you guys go he was taking double digit right there from in ui goku that's all you need to see to see that this Vegeta is very powerful. We didn't use Nappa's um, exchange, like his, you know, uh, active skill earlier on in the fight. But keep in mind that Nappa does have this active skill down here, which allows him to have guaranteed dodging, which of course is super good for when you're fighting the Tech God Goku stage, because that's, you know, the, the big type disadvantage that this Vegeta and Nappa will have. So there we go. Um, I think this is definitely worthy of a summonable LR, catered more towards the difficult events, but that's fine. You know, we didn't really need another LR Tech Broly or something like that. LR Rosé is more so down that line, right? Just like a unit you support with key and then they're absolutely able to dominate. Uh, this is a unit that's more so designed for the uh, very difficult events. Super Battle Road, stuff like that. So that's good. Um, thanks guys for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.